story. So children look forward to a bedtime story because a bedtime story is not just a routine. It's actually some emotional bonding, if you like, mm -hmm. because you cuddle with your parents. So if children know that they will always get a cuddle and some private time with mom or dad, then they look forward to it. And he knows that um, and going to bed is not such um, a bad thing. It actually means mm -hmm. staying with mommy for some time, being cuddled, and that emotional bonding goes on. Mm. That's, um, I, I was just, this, I, I'm having this discussion with my daughter about my niece, about the kind of books I can give her to read. And she's very, very mature. I don't know if you go that she's 13. Okay. Do you talk about 13 or just younger oh, children? Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm fascinated with young children, but I definitely talk about other children. So the good thing about books is that it's, um, it's important to, 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 and to show children that you yourself read. So you mm -hmm. need to uh, model reading. So the mm. household needs to put away the phone sometimes mm. and actually do print media. Mm. So mm. Some, some of us are able to read when our, when our children go to bed, but yes. it's, you know, that defeats the purpose. So mm. try oh, and wait. read. That's what yeah. I read. Like, yeah. when the, in fact, I went for husband, quiet. children, everybody. grandma, everybody. House is <laughs> him. Yeah. And then close one corner and read. School. Because they won't allow you to read in that yes. house. But you have to model it. They need to see you reading. Mm. The noise. Mm. Yeah. Well, oh, no, well you remember we're trying to achieve something here. Yes. So you the most see you reading and then children read things that interest them some people say oh this 13 year old is not reading but what really interests her so mm. not every 13 year old girl wants to be reading um you know girly things some of them want to read some action figures so you need to know the personality mm. of the child some mm. children don't even have um, enough uh, patients to read long novels so they probably want to read journals like reader's digest they can take out one reader and then read a couple of art articles mm. in it and that's okay so there's a pressure on parents because we all want this modern child that is exposed to technology knows where to get things online but at the same time we're also very wary of them going to places we don't we don't want them to go how do we therefore manage the routine alongside social media <laughs> and internet <laughs> access no, you, i mean you know that's a seminar topic <laughs> <laughs> so but it's important that we kind of so the routine is coming where you are allowed to use your phone and your computer for a given number of hours so most of their homework these days are probably on their yeah. computers yes yeah, so you do your homework and then if you could help if you could get somebody even if you're not home to ensure that he or she is doing this homework for just about an hour or two because otherwise they actually go on and on on these computers so mm. this is where routines come in so after homework you are going to play basketball outside or you are going to ride a bicycle or you're going to water the flowers. So you, it's some sequencing is involved. You mm. can't be on the computer forever if you know that you're going to do a couple of things mm. afterwards. Interesting. I'm happy you've brought up this computer because I am beginning to think that we shouldn't even let these children near, this, near oh. the phones, near the iPads, because it's taking up all their, I mean, it's quite a, their, yeah. I mean, we as adults are addicted to our we phones. Are, and our, we are. So who, what, <laughs> the children, so I'm, because I'm guilty of buying iPads for my nieces and nephews. Yeah, really? I'm guilty of giving my iPad to my grandson yes. and phones. So, I mean, last, last Christmas, I bought them pure water phone. They did not, they have not even opened <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know. understand? And they are just looking at me, which kind of woman is this? You know, how am I going to not let them the the <laughs> stop them from because i don't believe in them anymore yeah. for young kids so we have to ensure that we're not using phones and um all the gadgets for babysitting mm -hmm. we need to ensure that we are planning uh, uh activities such that we can create other activities mm. and the good thing about children is that they are actually quite easy to please you know um the other day my son wanted me to go outside and play badminton i was so tired but when I discovered that he had been on his computer for two hours mm. and the only way out was that badminton, I had to make, <laughs> had to make oh, some wow. time. So we've got to ensure that we actually make, make a deliberate effort to provide other activities. Trust mm. me, if they are outside, if they go outside, or if you... If, these days, they don't even wash their socks. If you mm. wash your socks after school, that'll take you about 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah. Mm. And then if you're big enough and you actually... Wa okay, don't wash. Throw them in the washing machine at least. Do yeah, something. Are there some routines that we can take? Because from what YK is saying now, I'm learning. When we had COVID, I had COVID, sorry. 
So I would not allow my children play with the neighbor's children in yes. the, during daytime for fear that they'll spread it. So once everybody goes indoors, we come out. We're out till 11. And I played football with them, my yeah. son. I run around with them. And I see that when they go back, and everybody just goes to sleep yes. or tired. Yeah. When I try to read to them, if he sees a character, you know, animated books, yeah. he will wake up again and start a story with the <laughs> character. And yeah. so we'll, we're there for hours. I'm reading and I'm tired. I sleep off and the child I'm trying to put to sleep is active. Yeah. So what routine? Do we really need to follow the books? Do I really need to read to this child, basically? Oh, I think you need to read to a child because there's so much that goes with reading. First of all, the child that it helps the child with vocabulary for one. You notice that children who are read to actually know how to express themselves quite well. Mm, yes, yeah, cool. so you must ensure that. But at bedtime, we can't be reading Captain Underpants because it's really, really active. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be reading action <laughs> figures. Let's try and read things that will actually take people to sleep. Like uh, there was a routine series I did, and I said you actually have to be conscious about the lighting. Even you need to start reducing the lighting, mm. reducing mm. the volume of the TV. We are trying yeah. to shut down here, right? So yeah. everything needs to start reducing. And then the child would gradually understand that, okay, bedtime. it's bedtime. You know, it's easier to put a person to sleep. If your person is in a bright light like this studio, <laughs> you know, yeah. he's not going to go to sleep. Yeah. No. Let's go to a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Communications were all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. PVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress, makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All tip in place? PCR check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plants all set. 
120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. That's why the TVC staff crash was put together to help parents just like me get those professional childcare services that they need. Come on, let's go, let's go. The TVC. Thanks for staying with us. We're still talking about children and routines. Um, before the break, I know we're talking about teenagers. How do you start a routine when children are used to having routines? But in the case of homework, TV time, lesson teacher time, you know, there's just so much of that. I mean, do you think we're overcrowding these kids with these 
back-to-back -back routines. I was just, sometimes people feel overwhelmed that there's just so much this child is going through, mm -hmm. all the subjects in school. How would you advise parents to organize all these things? Well, uh, sorry, I, just, I love what Moriah just said about the homework because it's very, I, I, I find that, they, I mean, they're in school, they don't get home till four, five, and then they have homework, they have lessons till like seven. What yeah. time do they have to themselves, the children. these four kids? So I think uh, the truth is, childhood is a preparation for adulthood. Childhood is a rehearsal for adulthood. So uh, we are busy, so our children will be busy. So we need to help them to re plan and sort out how they can go about achieving all that's in front of them. So that's where the routines come in. So if you come back from school, and if you check some of these homeworks, I know some homeworks are, are, are quite a lot, but if you check some of these homeworks, some of them don't take up to 10 minutes to do. Mm. But the concentration. Yeah. So somebody has a 10-minute homework to do, but they stay on the computer. Things pop up. They go to one site. They come back. So homework that could take 20 minutes ends up taking about one hour. And for them, that's one hour on the screen, which they like. So with a little more supervision, they could get the homework out of the way faster. Some days are more difficult because they're like a project, and that would take mm. some time. That's different. But on a normal day, the homework is not as much as the children make it seem. Mm. So with a little more supervision, you'll find out that you can actually finish fast. Right. And then if you, if you include other things, like you know, doing a few chores and then going outside, yeah, we only have so many waking hours. So routines will actually help you achieve what's on your plate. Most, like in some schools, when, uh, for older children, when they get to school, somebody is responsible for writing out the entire schedule at the side of the board. So you're watching and you know how much time you have and how much time you know, is allotted for a particular... What are some thing. chores we can give children in the house? Yeah, sweeping. Like some people will say, no, that's an outdated. Like yeah, some people say that's an outdated skill because yeah. there are um, vacuum, vacuum cleaners. cleaners. But there are some parts of the chair that the vacuum cleaner may never. Yeah, have yeah, so yeah. I think it's still culturally. I think children should still uh, learn one of those things, and then they should. They can. They can fish, feed the dog. Uh, they can the leave dog. their beds. At least you can put off the security lights. Mm -hmm. Yes, and take then you can the fill, take, uh, take out the trash. I mean, it depends on where your trash is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't want the children out of the gates yeah. because we don't know what will happen. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but you can th feel th do things like filling up the bottles of water. Yeah. If what about now we have seaweed. Of interest. Chores of Like I'm still dealing with Mr. Zibiri Jr. Yes. He's never interested in any chores. And most of our arguments are on chores. He asked me once, what's your own chore? Uh, oh, well, no. my own chore is to take you to school. I, told you, <laughs> I said I cook, I do other things yes. in the house. So. I had to defend this yes. one, yeah. but he's not interested in the bin is not too far from the is within the compound. Yes, take it, take the trash from the house out, and he's complaining. So yeah. I'm looking at things that he will, he will find pleasure doing, and yes. I can't find doing. Them. Okay, so I think if you look a little more closely, you'll find the things he actually likes. Like, would he would he rather draw the curtains in the morning? Would he put off the lights? That's not a chore. Yeah. Oh, well, no, that's it's a chore. Trash, it's, trash. it's a chore. If you don't draw the curtains, then the curtains don't get yeah. drawn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, to get the sunlight. Yes. Yes. Every morning, what open age? up the curtains. Yes. What age do you start them on chores? Because my grandson is three mm. plus. Okay, so if you're three and you have, uh, and, you, and there's a baby in the house, you could have the responsibility of putting the diapers in the bag, but you still have to check so you don't get to yeah. where you're going without <laughs> right. diapers. I get my yes. son to take the plate to the kitchen sometimes. Like, that's a basic. Clean, clean up yes. after yourself, take the yeah. plate to the kitchen, yes. you know, and stuff and like that. Also that's setting the tea table. <laughs> and then also setting the tea table. It, I mean, we don't it, do tea tables. Though. Okay, like if you have, if you have, yes. if, if you do tea, <laughs> we do pop. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Well, who who brings the milk to the table? Yeah. yeah. Who brings the who brings right, the sugar right, to the right, table? Right. So, so my you kids complain about fetching water. They like, mommy, why do I have to fetch water for you all the time? I said, that's what you do for me. Yes. I do things for you. For you? you fetch water for me. When I sit down, you get me the water. You take the phone upstairs. You bring uh, other downstairs. I know. Kind of I think place, we gave birth to them to send them. You know what used to make me laugh when I was a kid, and my friend and I used to gossip. Your mother can be sitting on the bed and she'll say, Ah, Yenny, come, give me that thing over there. And you say, Why is she so lazy with the gospel? I'm okay. Why is she so lazy? She don't, she don't look at it. Yeah, you know. Send me somebody <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah, I did exactly the same thing. Let me bring that thing over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember Your mom. getting so annoyed. Sending yeah. children on errands actually helps them. First of all, it helps with memory. Mm -hmm. And it helps with cognitive development. Mm -hmm. I remember one of, once my sister came to the house and said, you're not sending these children. They won't have sense. So, mm -hmm. so you, you have to send children so that they can know, so that they can mm -hmm. follow through. Right. Sometimes mm -hmm. for very young children, one-step instructions, mm -hmm. go get my keys. And then as they grow older, get my keys, 
give to this person to get out this from the car. Right. So that's two, three step instructions, right. yeah, right. depending on the age. Fantastic. Let's uh, take this call, then we wrap up. Good morning, are you there? We have a call from Aja. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, uh, beautiful people. The volume is low. I can't hear you um, properly. Go I've ahead. I've listened to what Madame is saying. Can't hear him. Um, for me, it's a, it's, it's a perfect um, uh, way of bringing up children. But this is Nigeria. I mean, that is the ideal. Okay, so we have to wrap up on this. Um, so um, your average... Oh, you, well, the average Nigerian is not well, what you guys are painting. Because the production team is not I mean, it, it's okay. I can't hear you. Who likes okay, TV? Thank you very much. So that I mean, I mean, final your final words. What would what's your final advice to parents as we wrap up right now? Okay, my final advice would be: your children can be as uh, as organized as you are. So oh. be organized first. Right. <laughs> you just that yeah, was a final. Yeah, like yeah, you just a final slap. Oh my God! Check yourself. Check before you wreck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we can take. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> Let's go on a break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, Curtsy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. 
I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress. Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All tip in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All tip in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is. Thanks for staying with us. So World Oral Day is a day set aside by FDI World Dental Federation. The day is marked every 20th of March. The campaign is dedicated to raise global awareness on the issues around oral health and the importance of oral hygiene um, in our daily lives. Join us now to discuss more on this segment is Dr. Olufimilayo Adeni. She's a dentist I'm the founder and clinical director of Lux Dental Clinic Limited, Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to the show, madam. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ah, oh, the dentist. <laughs> we all hate the dentist. <laughs> Do because, you? Because, you know, um, let, let's start with how do we begin to remind Nigerians on the importance of dental care? How do you go for your routine checks? How often should we go for our routine checks? And when do we know it's time for a routine check? Because we just never do this thing. We just mm -hmm. let it be until we start feeling pain. That's when we start calling you. Yeah. So what's the proper routine for dental checks? Okay, so it's recommended that you visit your dentist every six months. Every six months. So at least twice a year. <laughs> but with some people who produce more dirt, more calculus in their mouth, we might even ask four months. Every pregnant woman should routinely see a dentist during the course of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Because of the pregnancy, hormones um, affect your gums and your mouth adversely, and so you need to ensure that you are in tip-top shape. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'll, I'll, I would like to start with kids, because I know we'll come yeah. to girls, because the kids, just all my children, they are kids. just yellow. Like, like, <laughs> they, they are all yellow. Yeah. Every, and I try to, I brush their teeth for them, but somehow, is, is that normal? Will they get white in future? What, what's the because plan? How do we fix this? Okay, I like to say your toothbrush is not enough, and so you have to invest in a visit to the dentist. The thing is, with children, their manual dexterity is not as, as they don't have the prowess that we do, and so they need supervision a lot of times till they're about seven years of age. 
at the point where they have mixed dentition, primary and um, permanent teeth, you notice the primary teeth are whiter naturally than the permanent teeth, and then you need to just take them to a dentist. That's hmm. the story. Okay, so the but you know this, I, I know that you, because you, this is what you do. Mm. You, what Buraya is saying is my reality. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a dentist when I was um, growing up. Growing up. Mm -hmm. And my, my teeth is pretty, you know, I'm, I'm really good. Mm -hmm. and it's not yellow, mm -hmm. you know, but my kids are yellow. And, mm -hmm. like, I, I wonder if it is, if, if the color of the teeth has to do with genetics or because some people just have yellow teeth and then some have white teeth. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, wondering, is this something I'm doing wrong or it is something that's genetic or... Did it or is, yeah. Did it brush? Okay, so there are many factors. Yes, genetics play a role. Many times you see that people's teeth match their eye color. And so oh. genetics play a role in how, um, how dark or how light your teeth are. But um, regular oral health practices can help brighten teeth. But in the end, um, having healthy oral... Um, having a healthy mouth is not just about the color of your teeth. Yes. It's about how healthy your gums are. Do you bleed when you brush? Do you have mobile teeth? Do you have holes in your teeth? Mm. So those are the things that we should be um, we should be focusing on. So did you the... say mobile teeth? Yes. What is mobile teeth again? Teeth that shake. <laughs> Teeth that shake that are not yeah. firmly placed yeah. because there's something going on with the gums okay. and the connective tissue. I, I was there. afraid that the teeth would be walking out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk yes. about how teeth grow. Yeah. So I have a perfect dentition amongst mm -hmm. my siblings. Mm -hmm. I've never bothered. Mm -hmm. And it's been white all my life. It's just getting brown. Mm -hmm. but yellow. But I have children. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen these teeth before in my life. <laughs> they, my eldest child doesn't lose a teeth. Yeah. A tooth. She pushes yeah. one out. As the other is coming out. So you you never see a hole. Yeah. Oh, really? She's yeah. lost one, but there's another one there right mm -hmm. away. Then the... the ah. It's scattered. Ah, God of mercy. <laughs> now the second one. Teeth um, like this. Change and... <laughs> it really makes you worry. <laughs> okay. Oh, so will it fix itself? <laughs> yeah, will it fix, fix itself? Because that's what family are saying, that we'll leave it, we'll leave it, don't touch it, but... I think something should be done. Okay, so this is usually the mixed dentition phase. That's when the milk teeth are falling out and the permanent teeth are coming in. Some children have that. I, growing up, never had a hole. I never had a gap. I always had the oh, permanent teeth growing right behind my permanent teeth. But my mom is a pharmacist, so she'll take me to the dentist to just say, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And I grew up in a teaching hospital, so it was easy to just walk into the yeah. dentist and say, what's happening here? And then there's a lot that can be nipped in the bud if they see a dentist at this stage. Right. Yes. And so don't just say, oh, everything is fine, because the diet you were exposed to is not the same diet your children are exposed Certainly. to. Your children didn't take sugar to school every day. They didn't have this much exposure to carbonated drinks and, and um, refined sugars. And so we need to invest. We need to be very intentional about um, taking care of the, 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 our children's teeth and our mouths, because now we're, we're finding a lot of studies saying that all chronic diseases are linked to everything happening in our mouth. And so it starts there. And, um, mm. Yeah. So what's the safest way? Because now I've tried to floss. Mm -hmm. the, the gums were just bleeding. Mm. I, I floss easily, but when I do for my second child, it's, it's, I think the gums are just soft. So or is it that, is it gene can somebody's gum be that soft genetically enough for a floss to tear them? Okay. How so, do I do um, We call that um, gingivitis. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the inflammation of the gums, the redness of the gums, which can be reversed by... A routine visit to a dentist. So a, a procedure we call scaling shall. and polishing. That's the truth. Everything Your toothbrush is not enough. Mm. And 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 with our lifestyle choices now, there's so much at stake that we can't afford to just say, oh, I'm brushing at home and I'm flossing at home. There's a lot that gets stuck in between your gums. There's a lot that wow. gets stuck underneath your gums, ah. between your teeth I'm and I'm carrying your my four children to yeah. <laughs> wow. Because I, my little boy had an accident. When he was a little baby, he fell on something. Mm. And one of his tooth chipped like all yeah. the way up mm. to the roots. Mm. So we went to the doctor, they got him something to cover it up. Okay. But it's gone off. And so he's back to normal now. I'm only praying that Father Lord Almighty, and when it's time for the, 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 to affect the real covenant, <laughs> will it or would, um, should I just, because now he looks like he has a gap, but he really mm. doesn't have a gap. Mm. Okay, so um, in that case, usually we'll do a root treatment when there's trauma to the primary teeth at that stage, wow. usually there should be a root treatment done to just clean out all the blood vessels and wow. nerves and create a um, pathway so that there's no infection that mm. affects the permanent tooth. Mm. But hopefully, mm. 
Oh, oh, my, my, my daughter <laughs> took her kids last year. They were three and one, one plus to the dentist. The dentist said, oh, no more sweets, especially lollipops. Yeah. And we are all guilty, guilty of giving our kids lollipops. Yes, According to the dentist, the lollipop, because they just keep it in their mouth permanently, it decays the teeth. Oh. Oh. And then she has another routine. She brushes their m m teeth for, I think, three minutes. She sings yeah. six green bottles yeah. till... And each one, the first one, the younger one, is just like uh, one and a half minutes. The older one is three minutes. I, you know, I have to do it myself for her. When is I'm it how long or how well, though? It's both. Mm -hmm. You need the time to do it well. And so there's... The, but she's doing great. She's doing excellently well. So you should do at least two minutes. Brushing oh, brushing. Teeth, yeah. Mm. You do at what least of two a minutes. child that you know you can't brush some children? Oh, you can. Huh. Find <laughs> what works. Find what gets your children's attention. We the brush, my my, my son don't. from three, like even three, he brushes himself and actually does a better job yeah, than the other ones. Like yes. he does it really well. He'll brush his thumb, but he does not want mm -hmm. you to help him to brush it. Because he's, he's worried about the choking. Yeah, the so he is he, he yes. He, so he does it himself and he actually really, really does well. Mm -hmm. But um, the supervision is the part that we need to work on. Yeah. Um, many Nigerians right now are watching us and wondering, oh, there's no Dizu, we are hungry. Why, why should I be bothered about my... See the dentist. See the dentist. Like, this, is not, this is not the most important thing for me. Mm. Yet I know it is very important. Hey, so can you highlight... You know. <laughs> I've, I've extracted know, two yeah. from my... So, so when I smile chair. now, it's 30 that is smiling. <laughs> and I'm worried that I would need to extract more. So I understand it's important, but someone watching probably wouldn't, would want to. In order of priority, how would you um, explain spending that money on dental care? Okay, um, I have some clients who are in their 60s and they had this less severe attitude to their mouth when they were younger. And so they would say, you have a whole... And say, just take it out, just take it out. And now in their 60s, they barely have anything to chew with. Mm. And they're spending millions on implants mm. because now their faces are sinking in because really, your teeth are the pillars that hold your face. Wow. So mm. you see some people looking really aged mm. because their teeth are yellow, because there's spaces and there's nothing to hold up the cheek. Mm. And so... Just invest in your oral health. I like to say we talk with our mouths, we eat with our mouths, mm. we kiss with our mouths, we do everything literally with we our mouths. Yes. With our mouth. <laughs> so, so um, it's just a pre and prevention is cheaper than mm -hmm. um, waiting till there's pain and there's a, something to get rid of. Mm. So just invest in a routine. This, check this every brushing six twice a day. Mm. Is it a real? It's like is it a real must? It's real. It's <laughs> real. It's real. It's just like having. Food pile up here all day. It's 8 a.m. You eat something, you throw it here. Um, by 9 a.m., there's something in. There's water, there's sugar, and everything, and it begins to rot on the table. Mm. It's literally the same thing yeah. in there. You so, and then you have a lot of microorganisms naturally in your mouth that are acting on everything that comes in. So you, know, you need to I, break the cycle. Yeah, I brush it. Except I'm on my period, I don't have this effect you talk about. Mm. Maybe because I have to rinse my mouth five times to pray. Yeah. And even more, three yeah, times so for you. I hardly have leftovers in my mouth. Mm. So when I used to do the night brushing, it was just like fashion mm. for me, mm. really. So you don't do it again? I, do, I really don't have to. I don't no. have anything in my mouth mm. at night. When I, I do it too. But when oh, I, wow. I have yeah, my I have period, you brush. When I'm I not um, having to do my ablutions, I have to do You know, I, I think I shared that story before. My husband, I mean, since I've met him, morning, night, morning, night. So in the early days of our marriage, I just want to pray. This guy doesn't want to be... The, the guy, I think I'm begging him to kiss. It was later, it was about two or three years ago, auntie, you don't brush at night. It's, it's difficult to be kissing you at night. Morning. So, I yeah. mean, so it's horrible. So, I said, you're not telling me now that I'll be brushing at night. Because, you know, so, that brush, it took me a long time to start brushing at night. But I'm happy that it's really important, as yeah. you've said. Yeah. Someone um, is asking on Twitter, I said, brushing twice a day also, if you can use Paco. How, what is it? Yes, I was, just, I was going to go there, the, because be my father was an advocate for chewing stick, mm. and there's this one, the one with the pepper, yeah. mm. that is supposed at, to be... The tupac, 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 tupac. or something, something mm. at yeah. uh, So that, that's that one. And then another thing that <laughs> happened to me as a child, there are these, I don't know whether they are quartz or whether they are real, when they, you would take them, they would put something in your nose, and then maggots will come out of your Ew, damn. No, those ones that you used to put on your nose and put on they, your teeth. No, if you they have put it own, in your nose. There are some they put in your teeth. Too, there are some, I saw those ones in your nose. And, and How safe are all these things? 
So what are those? What is that? The, uh, <laughs> have you heard about so, it though? You yes, think we nearly turn your head? Yes, let, let, let her explain to us what that is. Okay, so for um, the um, using bako chewing stick, we have proven um, we have proven methods, natural methods okay. of curing oral diseases in Africa, but we haven't explored yeah. intentionally. There's not Obvious. enough research to back yeah. up. Um, my mom is a pharmacist and she's done a lot of research in that. That's how I know that. And it is proven to be able to reduce um, the oral microbe um, that, that you have there. But we don't have enough proof. Yeah. How long do you brush it with? How, so that's why there's no scientific backing to it. So that's mm. why we always say, just stick with your toothpaste oh. because we know how we'll much... Or do both, if, mm. if you insist, or do, do both, both, yeah. And the or maggot part? The maggot part is just... People are out to make money. Mm. They use chemicals that react and coagulate mm. with your saliva and have that squirmy look. Oh. There is no warm anywhere hey. in your mouth. Why I say, see your the life? Time. There is see no you see warm. Your life? Is it me? <laughs> there is, is, there is no warm. Oh People God. are just out to oh make money uh, and they use different uh, chemicals. This man, they <laughs> made <laughs> money off my dad. <laughs> <laughs> These are the they, will count, they will count each maggot. My father did I've had clients that come into the clinic saying that they told me I had maggots and that uh, you should do something else but in the end you need to see it then <laughs> okay so let's talk about um, um braces that guy mm -hmm. i knew he was before one night <laughs> yes, just let's, talk braces. let's talk about braces mm -hmm. and um the types of braces why people should do braces now what age? i see adults do braces a lot nowadays and i have a client here and she wants to she has she's had a gap the AG, that, yeah, she's had it like forever. I think it's so cute. But then she's going to be 50, and she said, guys know that I'm going to be 50 without this gap. Everybody knows me with this gap, but I'm going to be 50 without the gap, and she now has braces on. Um, when, is, when, does braces, when is braces essential, and when, can, when is it superficial or necessary? Okay, so um, people grow up with malocclusion. Say you have spaces between your teeth, that's, yeah. spaces between your teeth, or you have crowded teeth, teeth that overlap, mm. or you have teeth that bite way ahead of the lower one, and so you have this um, mm, look, yeah. or there's an underbite where your lower jaw goes ahead of the yeah. upper jaw. There are many malocclusions, and it affects speech, it affects um, chewing, it affects natural functions of the mouth, and so. Um, getting cures for, yeah, check for the malocclusions <laughs> are very valid mm. because many many people have um, esteem issues from this. You might not know. I met a teenager in the office one time, and his mom was just con concerned. He never smiles. I don't know what is wrong with him since he became oh. a teenager. And I just had a few minutes with him, and he said he doesn't like his teeth. He doesn't like the way oh. his teeth are set up. Mm. His friends laugh at him in school, and a simple procedure using braces corrected all that. Oh, wow. It happens with women also. I, I had a lady who came in and her husband said, no, I like you like that. But she's like, I'm not confident. I feel like people, I, I'm so self-conscious. I feel like people are always looking at my mouth. And so I need to go for it. And then if you feel like you need to do something about the way your teeth are arranged, please go for it. Braces are effective and they're also aligners. Aligners are not as visible as braces. Mm. So it's just a nice um, transparent Thing that you wear yeah, on the I, I have a message correct. here from yes. somebody it says that I did a root canal therapy on in 2009 mm -hmm. but didn't complete the process she was supposed to crown it I don't know what mm, that means yes. and I said now the field hole broke out and while she was flossing how does that can that person be helped uh yes Probably with an implant. That's why we always we literally beg hey. them, please hey. come in. Once you get your roots, well, you roots are so expensive. That's why people because don't. you do not come in at the right time. Oh. If mm. you come in every six months and all you're doing is a basic cleaning, at the I'm, most I'm in a year you are spending question. twenty something thousand, yeah. thirty thousand, and long term there's no hole that can progress That's so much. Know. In <laughs> what and see, you know, yeah. that, I have four children. See, when you yes. go, I times it and four children. Myself, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> so it's always the asking them on Twitter. I have a question for the dentist. I have a natural gap tooth, and it is too wide. Mm. Can I cover it up? Is it advisable? It's best to use braces and aligners because our teeth are arranged. There's a structure. So if you cover it, you are adding an extra tooth that is not there. You would look weird. Mm. There's, there's a beauty in the natural design of mm -hmm. our teeth. And so when you need to move teeth, you move them in sections. Like some people ask me, can I put braces on just one corner of my tooth? No, we can't. We treat your mouth as a whole. And so we moved them together. So Let me take Hassan. Good morning, Hassan. Are you there? Uh, good, good morning. Good morning, everybody. live. Go ahead. Please, I have a question for the dentist. Yes. 
Please, what are the causes of this mouth odor? <laughs> and is uh, being, uh, what they call it, in pain uh, uh, an ulcer patient, it makes somebody's mouth to smell. Being an ulcer worse. patient. And what yes. are the remedies for it? Yeah, the ways what causes mouth odor and it does also have those being... okay. So there are very many causes of mouth odor. There's the physiological cause where you just wake up and you have um, an off, your mouth is off or you're fasting. You're not taking as much water and food and so that happens. Then there's the cause by um, holes, having holes in your mouth. There's a cavity. It's literally a cesspool of bacteria and decayed food. And so there's bound to be halitosis. If you have gum diseases also, you'll, you bleed when you brush. There's just that um, off smell because your, your blood should be in your blood vessels. It shouldn't be mixing with food and saliva. Then when there's some systemic diseases, say liver conditions, um, kidney conditions, or just many systemic diseases that have something going on in there, it can affect your, your breath. And smoking, um, consumption of alcohol, all that affects your 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 mm. the smell that comes out of your mouth and so what can you do about it? Visit a dentist. They've already seen everything we knew as a child. So when we were children, I would take like say um, four. And you'd be answering them one per one. <laughs> they used to brush like this up. Down. Yeah. So, yes. up down. And one dentist that wanted to make money of me says, your gums are have been damaged the up down. They have to play this. Yeah, rotation. Yeah. And they come again with another one. They do like, tick, 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 like that. And so what is all this? Okay. They, like, they keep changing. You know, the they keep changing the <laughs> formula. Okay, the thing is, the two approved methods presently are the light circular movement. But the truth is, people just tend to be aggressive. And in yeah, the end, it goes back to being forward and backward or this. So the two approved methods are light circular movement or light flick, where you're taking your brush, from the top of your gums, you're literally bringing out all the dirt that might be stuck between your gums and your teeth and flicking them out I mean, gently. So it's yeah. not like this. The, the, up you, and down. You can, yeah, but there must be a slight yeah, I want to leave move. Six, Two minutes. <laughs> Two, yes. Yeah, that but time. you have to just just think about it. Like treat your teeth with love and attention. You don't have time. Yeah. It's Nigeria. Yeah. You yeah. missed the bus. <laughs> so there are some people on YouTube that are asking about mouthwash. That is mouth. Can mouthwash be a substitute? Uh, I okay, me... before I go there, I want to say um, the way you hold your toothbrush is also a factor. No firm hammer grip, just a light movement, treating okay. your teeth with tender you care and affection. Mouthwash. Because that, um, in the end, it causes cervical abrasion where you lose the edges of your teeth and your Let me gums. take this call. Ayokole, are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, so I sorry, Ayokole, for keeping you. So the second you. one. Somebody okay, I'm not done with the mouthwash. Mouthwash, okay. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mouthwash. Okay, so um, the truth is that dentists are not huge advocates for mouthwashes. Oh, really? Because a lot of mouthwashes contain alcohol, which dry out your mouth. And in the end, you're going back to square one. You're doing more damage than good. Mm -hmm. And then um, if your mouthwash also um, is really, there's some really concentrated ones that just disturb the whole... Um, pH and the ecosystem in your mouth. And so in the end, we say rinse with water. If you go for a mouthwash, make sure it is one recommended by your dentist. There are few that do not contain alcohol. They contain fluoride then and they have, and they, yes, and they have the right pH for your mouth because there's a level of acidity that you don't want to get to because- but we think is that the more so acidic the, it yes. is, the better it because is. Because people feel like, oh, once oh, it smells and, and it's, it. and, yes, you do. So I even heard one gist, one fabu that, ah, if you use mouthwash, you won't catch color. <laughs> Hey. Actually, some people said that, but there's no, there's no, there's no, there's not enough proof. But it was, it was, it was, it was actually conducted that a lot of mouthwashing and um, spitting out actually helps to reduce the you oral see? overload. Of, Mikey, where do you get all this data from? Mikey, Mikey, fierce coral like. It. <laughs> but so, it was, it was widely one spread on, then. On Twitter, that said that you know when we brush, we shouldn't rinse out. Mm. All our lives were rinsing mm. out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been sort of doing so that. So if you brush, they say you leave the chloride to work. You're kidding me. Yeah, yeah. So okay. you don't leave that. You. So we advise at that night, you yeah. spit. You do not rinse. Mm. So yes. Spit, but don't rinse out with water, so that there's a little left to act on your teeth. Yep, I've been doing that. That's that. That's that's that. That's that's that. 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 That's that
some leave them not your but that's why you should go for one that is approved by a dental exactly. association. Exactly. All of them. No, no, not, not all, not all. I, if I call this some one of I them use, have xylitol, which is safe in your mouth, and it's not a sugar mm. that the bacteria can act so on. Let me so be, let me get this clear. If I brush in the morning, mm. yeah. after I brush, I just spit out. I shouldn't yeah. rinse out. Yes, just I never spit. heard that before. I've, I've heard, heard it. Yeah. I've and heard I it. My daughter, my daughter, daughter doesn't rinse out her children's mouth. When once the brush, brush is OK, she herself doesn't do it. But me, yeah, I have had some people spitting and rinsing. Even not only will you rinse, you'll gargle. Yes, no. I've actually brushed. 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 I've can I, can I, can I, sorry, I won't stay on this matter. <laughs> this water matter. Because it, when I rinse out, mm -hmm. some particles do come out. Mm -hmm. So if I had left it, the particle would remain in my mouth. No, if you brushed for two minutes, you would spit in between the two minutes. Ah. You, won't, you won't be able to keep in all the toothpaste there in your mouth for two minutes. So you spit out, you rinse a little, you do it again. And then the last bit, you just spit out. Ah, oh. leave it to act. Yeah, yeah. And you'll, feel, you'll see that your, your breath smells it. slightly fresher when you ah. do that than when you're in sleep. I never like I never like the minty breath. I had that problem because mm. I because you know, that, that was the problem I had with my husband because he He's was minty. minty. <laughs> so at night I'm like, oh no, I need to only like I'm, 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 I'm smelly. <laughs> He's minty, and we're both like, so kissing was not getting each other. <laughs> oh, different wavelengths, please. Oh my I want to ask you about the um, mechanical toothbrushes. Mm. So I have friends that use it, and I know that many people in the America, mm -hmm. they use it a lot. So, but we here tend to use the normal yeah. brushes. So what would you, which, which would you say is better if you're trying to correct damages? Okay, so the automatic um, toothbrushes are suited to help you do it right. So it is doing the circular Circle. motion for you. All you have to do is just hold it, and it, it doesn't apply as much force as when you're mm. scrubbing. And so it is safer. People, oh, okay. most dentists would advise that if you can get an automatic toothbrush, just do it. Get a, oh. an hourglass, a timer, and in two minutes, just make sure you are moving it. It's not like you just leave it in one corner. You are moving it around all the surfaces of your teeth. No, me, I use uh, this one that does zzz, and I still do. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yes, it shouldn't be too. You shouldn't be at the place. So this world, so this world, oral day that I celebrated. celebrity. What's the theme for this year? Is there a particular message that they have this year for people? Yes, this year is um, be proud of your mouth for health. So the point is, your oral health is directly linked to everything that is happening in your body. And so invest in your oral health, invest in everything happening in your mouth so you can be healthier. Because you can't isolate your mouth and say, oh, I'm healthy, but my mouth is, yes, it doesn't work that way. Okay. So in, be proud of your mouth. Look into your mouth and be sure I don't have holes, I don't have gum disease, my breath is smelling good, and, and that's basically... So, okay, go ahead. The last time I went for medical check, um, I had like four holes. And when they gave me the total calculation of filling it, I was like, I could only do two. two. <laughs> so and that was last year. So we, and I said, fill the two most mm -hmm. damaged ones yeah, okay. and let us keep the remaining two. Okay. Now that I'm talking, I like that I, I should, I'm already overdue for oh, checking. No, no. But when someone is facing that reality, what can you do when you know you have holes and your your budget cannot accommodate? Filling it. What can you now do in between? Are there meals you avoid? What are the routines that can help? Okay, so the truth is, in the end, once you have a hole, you have to fill it because it will keep progressing. There's no hmm. hole that is static, that just stays there. It keeps growing. The hole has um, living hmm. microorganisms that are feeding it hmm. with acid that break down your teeth for that. Wow. And the truth is, your, your teeth are one of the strongest structures on earth. Hmm. So it takes a long time for holes to progress. That's why we always say visit a dentist every six months because we can nip it in the bud. Once it's in the enamel, that's the first layer. All you have to do is just slap on a tiny filling. There's nothing big. Once it goes into the dentin, you begin to feel sensitivity and pain. That slap on Once it gets into the money. 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 Oh, Once it gets into the pulp, we're talking about root canals. Then, oh, you have to get a crown because the tooth is now weak. So the, the farther it progresses, the more expensive it becomes. And so I have um, a call from the Tarkas. Nicole, good morning. Are you there? Everybody is visiting their dentist now. Good morning, Nicole. Are you there? 
Hello, Nicole. Okay, I think we lost that call. So we have plenty tweets. Yes, yes, the yes, last yes. myth hmm. is someone saying on Twitter now that don't brush your tongue. Don't scrape your tongue after brushing when you wash. Your tongue is too sensitive. That's the thing. Oh no, that's, that's you should brush your tongue because there's a lot of microorganisms that live there. There's a lot of food that gets mm -hmm. stuck in between your papillae, and so you need to clean it out. A lot of bad breath actually originates from, from a dirty tongue. tongue. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, if I know some people like to invest in tongue cleaners, and then that's very valid, so that you have something separate cleaning they out your to tongue. Use knife. Eh, no, 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 a knife. <laughs> Someone no. oh, I, I think Boa is saying that you people should leave, you dentists should leave your comfort zone and spend time researching on the benefits of chewing sticks. What would you answer to him? Oh, there's a lot of work going on there. I had professors in my in college of medicine who already started work, and there's a lot going on mm. actively. But who is funding the research? Mm. Because there's a lot of research going on, but there's no funding. Mm. Um, the so Chinese slow as the pace. Yes, also. The, the Chinese research and they back it up with money and they send it all over the world and we buy their the Chinese products mm -hmm. and so it's seen as bona fide. But we research and nothing, yeah, nobody is funding no it. Fund. Right. Nobody is funding it, so it just goes into the books. So you mm -hmm. only when you go into the the field of academics before you see yeah, yeah, all how these much work has been done. Yes, the body of work there's has been so done. much. There's so much. Uh, another oh. person, Ajumu, sorry, Nima is saying, mm -hmm. is it right to brush your teeth with bicarbonate soda? Yes. Oh no, not at all. Not at all. Ah, but they use that. Do you know what about activated char charcoal? No, it's not advisable. Because people sell activated charcoal. Yes, food. people do. But who is endorsing it? The thing is, there's a lot of self-help, especially now with the advent uh, of the internet. But we have been using ashes so. Since when I was small, whenever we have mouth, uh, some <coughs> we used to go to this airport and take the ashes. Ew. Well, it's, not it's not standardized. It's not standardized. I had a case of, um, of a mother and a child who came into the clinic with this Oh, they got charcoal, and then all their gums were burnt out. Gums and the they don't know what they don't know what wood was burnt. They don't know what wood was burnt to become charcoal. So there is no standardization. There is no. There's nothing. There's nothing to guide it. You don't know what if it was a poisoned wood. You ate if it is. So my worry from what you said so far is that we have all this knowledge, just like the charcoal, the maggot stuff. We have all this knowledge. But we're not documenting it properly because yeah. there's a so lady. We can't rely on it. There's a lady that my, I mean, this is just the side. This lady was um, massaged my mom for mm. many years, and she is phenomenal. My brother has been spending dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars in the U.S. When he came home and this woman massaged him, he was shocked. He said, "Maria, I've gone to South Africa. I've been to in Canada, different countries, and nobody has touched me the way this woman touched me." We now tell the woman, "Wait." Set up something. Let us even fund this thing because you have to train more people. We said her mother trained her and her, gra her grandmother, they passed it down. She's already in her 60s. So we're wow. trying to get her to train more people. If I have money, I will support that woman because what she, she is, knows, she, she knows, knows that work. She knows every she single knows. bone. She's so fantastic. So, so it's the same thing. We have all this knowledge yeah. and there's nobody funding yeah. it. And there's nobody documenting the body documenting of knowledge, the process. knowing that this is what, what of, this is what we do that leads to this. Yeah. And that's the difference between the foreign world and here. They document. Once you find something, you write a book. But who says that what you've written in your book is the fact? You just have a f empirical formula, empirical facts yeah. to prove that this, this and yeah. this and this. And that's yeah. what we need to start doing in Africa. Okay, yeah. that's hard to mm. say. I had a teeth damage drug as a child. I've done washing and it still remains light. Whitening advisable. An advisable option. It is a viable option, but you need to see your dentist because if it is, say, tetracycline stain, Whitening would not do much for you. Mm. You might be looking at veneers at crowns to get that. Okay. So, so, so lemon water is it good for healing? <sighs> lemon water is highly acidic, and really? so it causes erosion in the long run, where it's wearing off, taking away all the enamel that covers your teeth. I like to say that um, lemon water is causing a lot of, is bringing a lot of clients to dentists because people are so sensitive in their teeth now they can't smile. You feel that shocking sensation because of the amount of acidity. Yeah, there's an important um, text uh, for Yemi Akumi. She says, how long do we use a toothbrush for? And also her two-year-old doesn't let no, her wash his mouth. Her, his mouth. She says, can I take him to the dentist? It's getting, his teeth are getting yellow. Okay, so um, you use a toothbrush for three months. But if in that period you have, say, a cold or you come down with... Um, any illness, please change the toothbrush because in the period of being sick, everything in your mouth has recalibrated and you don't want to carry that on once you're feeling ah, better. Yes. So that. change your toothbrush every three months. Um, your children should start visiting the dentist once the teeth are erupting in their mouth.
And teacher, you all conversation on this table. Come on, see your come to this. The dentist. <laughs> okay, we have heard. Me, I'll definitely bring my children because I, I definitely, my dear, I just need the dentist. Yeah. They've never Thank been you very to much. the dentist, so. Yeah, I think they need the one. We've never been to a dentist for children. My kids too. Only, wow. only Elizabeth. The other ones haven't been to the dentist. Well, my daughter, she took her own children. She's doing really, really well. well. She's doing no, really she's well. Abroad. Yes, NHS. now they don't have problems. No, there's they no have, NHS they for dentists. They have never. There is no NHS for dentists in the UK. They have water. They have electricity. Have to pay. Yeah, they have work on mobile. They can take their children to the dentist. Here, there's a lot we of things. The generator is there. We are thinking of how we're going to play that. In Cockport, I don't know. All right. Uh, Thank you very pops. much, Madam. Very for joining. Much, it was a pleasure man. having you on the Same show. Here. Okay, that's all we can take. Take your kids to the dentist. Take yourself to Many the dentist. Many questions here on Twitter. It's oh, a really? time on YouTube. Have a great okay. day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.